So King John back again with yet another attempt to bear review. The one I'm going to review just now, Gunstay side, and it's the Founders. It's a dry top pale ale. I'm a big fan of pale ales. I love them. One of my favourite styles of beer. A lot of people out there in the craft beer real world don't like them, but I must admit I do like them. One is stepping stones in, drinking stuff like whipped bread. Uh, the big white, the big whipped bread uh, pale ale is one of my stepping stones in to drink kind of darker beers. So I have got a little soft spot for them. So here we go. Open this up. Picked this up in the cave in Glasgow. Great Western Road, if anyone's interested, lives in Glasgow. If you're dabbling with your craft beers, you don't know where to get them. Cave, Hippo, over the West End. Hippo, Queen Margaret Drive, Cave, Great Western Road. I don't know why I give these guys shout outs to my videos, because I don't get any free beer from them. But then again, I want to educate people on beer. 2013 Great British Beer Festival glass, my wee thirds glass that I bought. Absolutely fantastic trip. So anyway, that's another story. Watch the video. So here we go. The pale ale get in. A little bit for the nose. Nice and clean. Crisp kind of looking colour. It's like almost lager-esque about it. Again for the nose. See what we can come up with. Very hoppy. Very clean smelling uh, taste. How can you smell a taste? But you know what I mean. Clean smell. A little bit of grapefruit. Piney, floral. It smells like a nice little beer. 5.4. It's in a small bottle. So, could you session on it? I think you could. Aye. So anyway, Sofa King drunk, drinking a Founders. Dry topped IPA Slangiva. Oh, lovely. Crisp, clean, piney. What I love, I'm not a massive fan of the Cascade, the grapefruit, but this has got it nice and subtle. I dare say if you were ever going to get this on tap in the States, it would even taste even softer in your mouth. This is really, really nice stuff. Come back now, you've got a nice piney uh, aftertaste. If anyone uh, has tried uh, Williams Brothers uh, Albar Ale, you'll know what I'm talking about. Nice piney freshness that comes back in the after bun. That's beautiful. Nice solid beer this. Oh, very piney. Piney on the tongue. Piney, piney needles on the tongue. Get the rest of it in there. 5.4. Doesn't really taste like that at all. I know it's like it's a 5.4. Anyone in the States is watching this and go, my god, we've got stronger beers out there. I know you have stronger beers out there, I've drunk them, but uh, it's still a hefty wee beer. If you were to buy a dozen of them, depending on your age, you wouldn't drink a dozen of them. If you were quite slightly longer on the tooth, like myself, uh, you'd feel the hit. So you would. 5.4 is a hefty wee session beer. So anyway, fantastic, fantastic stuff. But a soft lemon in there as well, which is just keeping that grapefruit down. Not a massive Cascade fan. Uh, really, really nice. Very, very sessionable. I could not buy pints of this. I really could not buy pints of this. This would be nice. Unfortunately, <coughs> like the hood of me, unless I've uh, touched down in US soil, I'm getting pints of this. Be interesting that anybody watches this review of the Founders Dry Top uh, IPA. I'd be interested to see that any of you guys actually get this in draft and you can drink it in pints. Or is it just one of those ones that just comes in a little uh, small bottles? I need to see how many mills is in the bottles actually. 
355 mils in the bottles. Lovely little artwork on it as well. Founders Beers, got a couple to review. They're always one of those ones you used to watch on YouTube and see people doing them and think you'll never get a chance. So, walked into the shop, saw them, bought them all. Well, one of each. Well, anyway, back to the beer. What am I going to give the dry top, the uh, Founders Dry Top, the uh, Pale Ale? 5.4 on the Richter scale. I'm going to give that a solid 8 out of 10. Now, I'm a sucker for Pale Ale's, as I said at the start of this video. A lot of people out there will just say, talking rubbish, whatever. Well, at the end of the day, it's my personal opinion. So if you've tried it, you didn't like it, I'd be interested to know why you didn't like it. And if there's something better out there, educate me. Because it's craft beers, real ales, the beer journey continues for everybody. Like, so you start off, everyone's got a favourite beer, then suddenly someone gives you something else to try. You want to try something else, and you want to try something else. The branches of the trees keep growing. So, that's what I give it. So anyway, this is so freaking drunk. Another beer review. If you've had it, give us a shout. If you liked the video, subscribe. If not, thanks for sticking along to the end of it. And maybe I will see you in another beer review. Ciao for now.